I think there's like a car FOV mod, but I don't want to. I went through all the trouble to add my mods. I want to add that one. You can't stop digging Night City. City like any other, just bigger. Nah, mano, not just any other city. Morgan Blackhand, Andrew Wayland, Adam Smasher. Legends are born here. Starving. Let's grab a tight bite. What do you say? Jackie, they're locking down Watson, remember? Oh shit, you're right. Is it just me or oh, I could do it? Man on our ass tailing us. Oh, shit. I, don't, I don't like this being not one tiny bit. <laughs> Fucking drive, Jackie! Come on, bitch! Hey, keep it steady! Hold tight, D! Mierda! Perdón! Chingado! Bye-bye! Dead. Scratched your baby up pretty bad. Sorry, V. It's okay. It can wait. Let's just focus on getting home. It's popped off real quick. Damn. They're pulling out all the stops. What's us unlock down to for the Nerdist? Necessary security measure. Officer, ma'am. Damn, are we ever lucky we ran into you. Really? What's it that makes me so special? A uh, heart of gold. Because only somebody with a heart of gold can understand just how much I need. Let's get back to my girl. Your girl? Uh-huh. Gonna be worried sick if I don't show. I mean, I'm trying to be a stand-up guy. She's giving me a chance. Waiting. Hmm. That's a shame. Look at him. No model citizen, maybe. But he's a good kid. Let them through. But they're the last. Okay. On your way. You have a good evening now, officer, ma'am. Officer, ma'am? be nice when you feel like it when am i not nice um always i'm always never not nice <laughs> this is a really dope way to introduce the city you not likely to make it back to Haywood now kill V they'll let me through sure about that oh yeah I'll play nice Jackie again sweet dreams then tell Misty I said hi I will I luego Go! 
apartments. Dash. All right, I put the jacket on. It's so funny how like arm, like clothes are armor. Like it says armor, right here. Nine point nine armor. It's pretty funny. All right, it's mustache. Spam. Bam. <laughs> what is it? Penis nano gel? Whoa. Hey now. Let's see what I got. Ooh, a better jacket. Yeah, yeah. The shorts are be better than the pants? That's funny. The clothing doesn't really matter for, for, for first person, but it matters for my thumbnails. <laughs> Let's go to sleep. Look in the mirror real quick. I gotta change this dude's undershirt. Creepy. Okay. <sighs> you gonna undo the bed? You even get under the blanket? Just knock right out. something when I jagged into that corpo's biomon. don't know neurovirus or need to see Vic let him tell me what's got my head reeling my stomach churning okay let me take you I brought you a ride yeah, throw on some threads meet me downstairs Gina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, V. Uh, what is that? Who? More gigs? No, that ain't it. Don't forget. Crime. Yes. Hey, yo, V. How about a round or two? What do you say? How you like my new punching bag? Just gave me a next gen ass whooping. <laughs> Be curious to see how he handles the likes of V. <laughs> so, how about it? Let's do it. Let's do this. Light on your feet. Keep that head moving. What are you doing? Get out of the way. You go. 
got one hell of a punch there, champ. Ever thought of monetizing it? I can arrange a fight or two. What do you say? You mentioned something about fighting. Hmm. I've seen you land in blows in the ring. You've got sharp instinct, good edge. You can go far, especially if you get chipped. These fights, let's just say they aren't legal, but very lucrative. Yeah, lucrative for who? You or me? Both of us. I get a small percentage of the total winnings, you know, as your agent. You get the rest. Sounds fair. It's like I said. Good instinct. Fights happen in different parts of the city. You choose where you want to go, put down your eddies, and start swinging. When you take home the pipe, manage to drop every last one of them, you get a chance to fight the grand finale. That all clear? Crystal. Good. Oh, except you won't be setting foot outside or what? Not yet. You can start in Kabuki. I believe in you, V. Time to show this city what you're made of. Nice. So, this game's so distracting. I've been hey, saying I'm. Your sweet little 45's waiting for its daddy. Purrs after every shot now. See what I'm saying? Let's have a look. All right. I'm broke right now. <laughs> All right, let's go. MS is one of the few diseases that cannot So distracting. The affected tissue with implant technology. I guess it's, you know, early game, so I'm learning everything. I didn't like when I first played this. I didn't like rush through to Jackie, but the second time around, like I'm absorbing a bit more, so because I kind of have a better understanding of how the game works. Man of the hour, <laughs> Jeez. took you long enough. Worked up an appetite just waiting. Sit down. Let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. Mentioned something about a surprise incident. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fall? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but just that he's fronted by a little known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat ass black Jesus of the afterlife. <laughs> 300 pounds of partly gold plated cool. Thought Dex bounced out of the ring a few years ago. Messed with the nasty crew in Pacifica. Things got ugly. Mm -hmm. Gang wars two years back. Somehow Dex got caught up in the craziness. A lot of bodies lying in the streets by the time the shooting stopped. Yeah, Dex got lucky, though. Managed to slip under the radar till tempers cooled. Took a while, but he's made one hell of a comeback. This is it, Jackie. Our break. Dex needs friends, needs us. We can use him. Amen, I say. It's a win-win. So what's the gate? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself, face to face. Oh, no pressure, but uh, his whole deal, he's riding on you now, I see. Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. All Dex says he needs to check you, talk to you. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. Look at this dude's haircut, man. Dex is a real got deal like a... when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong, man. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is a of his own. You know what I'm saying? This dude has like a 
voluntary receding hairline. Like, Hello. got the little circle in the middle. Like, he did that. <laughs> Don't get me started on fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gong to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. Shit. Hit the nail on the head, B. Gracias. Relleno. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust off with the Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. <laughs> Just talked over. Some top notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. Are we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. As I proceed to pull off very oh, fast. Supposed to stop by Vicks anyhow. I got a date. Me and Miss D. You don't say. Alrighty. So sweet. Really gets me, you know. What Dex has cooked up for us. Not only to you. Do you truly believe that those who have sold you your mechanical eye? Hey, V. Dr. Vector will see you now. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little kitchen up to do. Hey. Gotta get it in. Because I am. Always. <laughs> Vicky, surprise every old ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, V. Oh, wow. So what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Old kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Any tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now jack in. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. Just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. 
Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Same as always. Don't feel a thing. You ask me that every time, you know? Not as if things are gonna be any different today. Sure thing, kid. I mean, not like there's any risk of a stroke or paralysis, but <laughs> what do I know? <laughs> I'm just a doctor. That's what I thought. Lights out for a minute, all right? Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Seen more dramatic improvements before. Patience, kid. Give it a minute. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. Thanks again, <laughs> You're the best. I owe you. Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Who's winning? Hernandez. You know, in the old days, that cripple Malone would have been flat on the boards. Now every last fighter's got extra skull lining. Absorb 75% of every blow. This lighting is amazing. Miss it, don't you? Ah. Uh... Mm. Your heart chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. Anything red. <sighs> Thanks, Misty. You're the best. And your aura. It needs tending, baby. You've got to brush it daily. <laughs> it's just no good if you don't. Watching them cupcake real quick. Make sure your hands are clean and caress the filaments of light along their length. They'll be strong then. They'll be firm. Uh-huh. Firm. But you are not the V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride. For you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked. Next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. V, listen. I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Hmm? Right. How's it going? And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even Whoa, an unproven therapy this? is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear.
Jeez. Bussin. Yo, Mr. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die right old and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? There's some sort of test. Eh, just a pet topic of mine. You mean... riddles? No, Mr. V. Ontology. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Yeah. <laughs> Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. <laughs> Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolve in that. Second, to rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Client? What's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, we'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. I got a classic tale for you. Psycho Gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, Convoy was carrying the Flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gang mate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shit stream, one Meredith's daughter from Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Mr. V. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Okay. <laughs> Later now.
Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clept it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had to switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. <laughs> then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. He must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Parker. I gotta see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. What I lay. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. I'll put my nose to the ground. Sniff around. Hasta luego. Drive on through. Looking a little put out there, input. Interest you in a preem BD? Sure. And I go. Hold it. House rules first. There will be severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun, input. Welcome to Lizzie's. My, what a sweet little face you have. Hey, you there. Yes, I'm talking to you. Are you there? Are you already? <laughs> no surprise there. VR. Oh, depends what you're into. Hey. Get you something. I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here. Who's asking? A big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture, truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite, actually. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. Evelyn Parker. About to get tipsy? I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Sense on? Only tequila I drink. <laughs> How would you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. Especially in this club with no music. <laughs> We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. So, what can I Nothing's wrong. Girl like really? Do? Why don't you just tell me the truth? I just told you. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. 
I hope he wasn't overselling. You don't give a rat's dick what Dex thinks. We both know that. You have trouble accepting compliments? No, just think flattery's beneath you. Am I wrong? Maybe Dex is beneath you. Have you known each other long? Just started working with him, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews on long contracts and short leashes. Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. Then there's the other kind. Dex's kind. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arisaka, making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arisaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Classy Corp hotels? Yeah, no. Out of my price range. Hmm. Well, the decor's to die for. As you'll see for yourself. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What? So Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Tell me you're one of them? Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your prick perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Oh. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Back up. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits? No, don't Jack and I have two in those boxes. Like anything else? No. Sure. It can be a very useful tool. Good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted. Doesn't grasp. Exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? Supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an Sorry, moving my mouse. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Uh. Judy'll help. She's a mox too. Besides, we go back uh, years. V. This is important. Judy's always been there for me. Of always course. helped out. You can count I trust on me, her. Babe. But she's a mox, mm -hmm. not the latest member of your crew. No, no, don't thank forget. me. So, you'll be a good boy, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. Hey, there you are. 
This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Hey, Judy. Compiled your BD, Ev. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig-jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Look, I'm no BD virgin, but the raw stuff? Uncharted territory. Relax. I'll explain everything. It's less complicated than it sounds. Sit down. Settle in, and we'll get you going. Let's do it. Got to create your sensory profile first. Okay. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still, look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm-hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory six. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Get a lot of requests like this? All the time. But it's usually stuff the girls scroll at the club. I take that and do some routine porn tuning. Crank up the orgasms? More like cut out all the other shit. Fucking's business as usual for these guys. Their minds wander to grocery lists, spouses' birthdays, late bills, whatever. But even then, you can refigure things, mold the emotions into something unique, unforgettable. So, I can't complain. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. I need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... <sighs> Can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Size won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Down, everybody, on the ground. I want to see you kissing the flooring. Money, now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God. Whoa, yeah, hey, uh, uh, now. Before I blow your fucking head off! That's a four square Rubik's, Rubik's cube. <laughs> what a waste of money. Ah! Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. That flash of intense shock. I can still feel it. Remember. Fuck that last second. Could have warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Not so sure about that. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. I'll 
sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array, you'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control in analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out, and we... Sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind. Roll it back to the top. All good. Neat. Now try fast-forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing off the screen. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat, the gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. On you go. Okay, right here. Excellent. Let's move on. Now heads up, in analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Okay, fuck! On you go! Ah, little shitheads! Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously. Like what's happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, okay. eh? We have a deal today on two flavors. Cody and yeah. Serpent. Everybody! Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the roller's cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared. Meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. <laughs> Hella nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. On the ground! You wanna see you kissing the flooring! Money! Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. Alright, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Now! I'm sorry, I'm fucking fucking out! See that? They shot him, and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision, then scan it. His own chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. <laughs>